dual wheeling. Oh crap. So, bet you wonder why I'm in my vehicle. That's because I'm gonna do a gun collection video. I know, I promised it for a while, but here it is. Anyway, I got all my guns together in one place, the bed of the truck, and I'm gonna show you everything I got, give or take a couple. So, here we go. All right, keep in mind this video does not include any of the unboxing that I got for the Airsoft Elimination. There's another video for that. And it does not include claymores, landmines, grenades, any of that stuff. The mortars we have, I'm not gonna include those. This is just the guns. Just a few little knives at the end, but check it out. Okay, as you can see, we've got all the guns here in the bed because they fit barely. Here is a truckload of guns. This container is full, mostly AR platforms, but these are all my personal collection. This one's all pistols, and uh, yeah, there is a whole bunch. Some other things in there is a tripod, that's not a gun but let's get down to it. All right, here we go. Like I said, we're gonna go through this whole collection. I'm gonna show you every gun I have. I've been promising this for years. I know we did it before. That was when I had a significantly smaller collection. I forget exactly how many there were. I'm just gonna put the number right there. Yeah, I went back and counted. That's how many. I'm gonna go through it all, everything that I have gathered over the years by purchasing, trading, people gifting me guns for my birthday, Christmas, stuff like that. And I'm gonna tell you a little bit about each gun as we go along. I can't spend too much time on each one because then this video would never end. So here we go. I'm gonna start with the smallest of the guns and work my way up. Okay, first, I think this is the smallest one. I've got a Derringer. I don't know if you can see that right there. This is the Marushin and it is eight millimeter. I don't know if you can see that. I've, I've got it loaded. I put the 8mm BBs in there to show you. They're significantly bigger than a regular 6mm BB, and it's like getting hit with a rock. I really like 8mm guns. You'll see. All right, now I've got a couple of Spring Colt 25s. These are great for those games where you got to hide a gun on you, like if you're a prisoner, VIP, something like that. Pull them out. <laughs> Dual wielding. And I got a slightly bigger Colt. Uh, it's a Galaxy model. Actually, this one's rough because I lost this outside uh, next to the creek in the woods for like a year and it still works. That's a badass gun. Okay, now this one you won't see ever again probably. This is, is hard to come by. I wish I could find another, but it is a four barrel breakdown. Open this, breakdown. Four barrel, eight millimeter by Marushin and it revolves to shoot four. So you have four shots four shots. It's like a Derringer, but with four instead of two. I actually use this sometimes. MMP 9C, the gas blowback. Really compact. I've got two WG1911 compacts. Now these shoot a little too hot to use in a real game, so they're more for like target practice. Shooting the little targets, plinking, stuff like that. Dual wielding. <laughs> this one, Tokyo Murray Kimber 1911 gas blowback. It's all metal. Even the mag. Got a gas non blowback Jericho 941. Got a WeTech 1911 24 karat gold limited edition. Uh, each one came with its own serial number. This is number 211, so it's 00211. And yes, I have used this in an op. This one is a custom KWC spring pistol from back in the farm days. I use this as my zombie killer. It's spring, very reliable. As you see, I put some 
real hand carved mock ivory Grim Reaper grips on there. I believe they were carved by a Vietnam vet. I think that's really cool. Oh, the KTW Flintlock. Now I do have two of these. The other one is packed away somewhere from when I took it to Rev, but we use these as our dueling pistols. Yes! In airsoft elimination. These are the pistols to turn and boom! This one's another Tokyo Marui. It is the PX4 Storm Custom gas blowback. I got a little flashlight on there for CQB action. This is a WE PX Storm Compact. This one's just a little guy. Tokarev. Now this one's cool because it came in a hard plastic box, which now I do have the boxes for almost all of these guns. I'd say 90% of them. I have the original packaging that's packed away though. And uh, this came with a Russian pin to go with it. That was really cool. I have not used this in a game. I got, uh, uh, this one's heavy. Tokyo Marui 50 Cal Desert Eagle. Big, big metal chrome mag. This one's the hard kick. Really nice. I've used it like once. <clears throat> Airsoft Glock 18C. This is pre-ban. All metal slide. Metal mag. It's got the trades on it right there. But from back in the day before they weren't allowed. Now they are again. It's the whole thing. It's just a standard gas blowback. It's called the Black Leopard. I think I got this in a trade. This one's cool. It's a custom Mark 1. Like the uh, the Mark 1 pistol. They had the Mark 1 uh, rifle too. It's very high powered sniper, but this one's got an integrated suppressor. It doesn't actually suppress, but it looks really cool. And uh, gas non-blowback. Get in there on that one. This is one we've also used in airsoft elimination before. Oh, Isaac went out of bounds. This is the H and K non-blowback 45 USP. I really like these. I use these in game sometimes. You know, dual wield akimbo for all you Call of Duty guys. <laughs> I got an FNX 45, licensed FN 45 tactical right there. Now this one was a gift from my girlfriend a few years back. I have not used it. I probably should. I think maybe it's going to be my sidearm for whatever ops I go to next. This is an old school Smith & Wesson SW 40, the Extendo Mag. It's CO2. This one shoots pretty darn hard. I've actually uh, split my friend's knuckle open with it one time. He was not happy. We got a Wii Beretta. It's actually really heavy duty, chrome. If you could see that right there, really shiny. I have not used this one in a game. Most of these would sit in a display case in my room, but now I've moved the display case, so they're just packed away. Taurus, it's a Beretta 92, it's chrome. Gas blowback. This one's a uh, Resident Evil. Tokyo Marui Stars Beretta gas blowback you got right there stars yeah Resident Evil kill some zombies Samurai Edge another WE dual wielding high kappas these are really heavy gas blowback another Wii high kappa this one is not chrome this one's just gray gas blowback again this one's a CO2 Colt Rail Concept. It's more of a race pistol, flared magwell, so you can't miss CO2 blowback. We've actually used this one in an airsoft elimination battle before. Five shots. This one's an Infinity 45 STI Edge. This one is a gas blowback, but you're only really supposed to use duster with it. And I only have a little bit of that, so I don't use this gun. I try to conserve my duster so I don't have to order more. Okay, here is a KJW1911 that I tapped with a CQB Russia tap. You just run your HPA right to it, and then endless gas. This was originally a gas blowback, but tapped it. You don't need gas anymore. There's a cheapy gas revolver, non-blowback. ASG Dan Wesson 357 Magnum, nice and uh, shiny gunmetal. Not only do I have one Elite Force smoke wagon, I actually won a second one in a raffle recently, so now I'm dual wielding smoke wagons. This here is a custom WG extended barrel. Now what's custom about it is that the shells, I don't know if you can see, the shells here are custom made. They're bored out so that each shell can take I think up to six rounds. So it's like a scatter gun. You shoot it and they go everywhere. Now normally WGs are overpowered and you can't use them, but this one since the shells have been drilled out they just go all over the place, but at a lower FPS, so you can use this one. It is literally a hand cannon. Here we have a Taurus Raging Bull 44 Magnum in 8mm, 
like I said, I really like 8mm. This one is another hand cannon, just massive. And the 8mm, when you get hit by it, you know. I got a Python 357 CO2. I got a few WG revolvers, long barrel. Got a two inch snub nose. I also have this one in black, but that one's packed away too. This one is the biggest revolver I have. It is a 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum by Tanaka. This one's huge. I really like revolvers. Got a whole bunch of spring pistols here that are just regular old, usually a KWC or no name brand. Spring pistols, I use these for zombie games. They're awesome, they work great, they're very reliable. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve spring pistols. <laughs> the Desert Eagle. That was given to me by my friend Steve. So here's a cheap AEP AA battery, Walther P99. Now these are a couple of old school spring pistols. Original Tank Folio Witness, 1911. They don't come up much, KWC. Got that in two colors. These are like collector's items for me. I've got a Marushin spring pistol which the cool thing about this is that it is real shell ejecting. I don't have any shells for it. I've always tried to find some and never managed to. It's a spring pistol, loaded up, uses actual shells, ejects the shells once you shoot it. And this one is a SIG P220 by Kokusai, which is a little known old school company. Full metal gearbox, Beretta, AEP. Got two USPs. This one I actually used in my first ever YouTube video. It's actually second ever, but the first one got taken down. This is a nice AEP. They go full auto, dual wheeled. I also have two Beretta 93R, fully automatic AEPs, metal gearbox, dual wheeled. Oh yeah. Got a Beretta 93R gas blowback. This is one of the old ones. I also have a tap for it that can run out of the bottom and you attach it right to the top of green gas so you never run out of gas. This is awesome, full metal, extendo mag. KJW Techmaster 1911, it's a CO2 blowback. WG M84, non-blowback. This one's really powerful. I also don't use this one in games. Another gas blowback, I believe this one's a spider. It is very compact. I got a ton of mags for it. Novak Next SOCOM gear 1911s, the custom Hitman that I got these chromed out Quicksilver Mad Bull silencers. We got these two WG Panther 801s integrated laser right there. Uh, they do work, just don't have batteries in them right now. We got two colors, there's the two tone silver black and an all black. Tokyo Marui SOCOM, this was the original release. Mark 23 with the actual suppressing silencer in the lamb unit. This is a little flashlight and the silencer actually does make it quiet. This one's another one my girlfriend got me. It's a Glock 18. It's a Wii but it's bronze with a bunch of carvings and it came in this lighted display case. I don't use this one either but it's a collector's piece and it really it's really cool. Moving on up we got this cheapy Mossberg single shot good for zombie slaying. I use these in zombie games sometimes. These are really fun. This is what I started off with. Auto hardballer. I'm not sure why they call it that. It says right on there, auto hardball. Hard to see, but I use this in the spring shotgun versus polar star noob battle. I lost, by the way, spoiler alert. Got them in clear and black. And black with a full stock. Single shot, not try shot like we have now. Speaking of try shot, I got a few of them. This is a UTG. This one, the pistol grip broke off, but you can still use it like this. This one is painted brown with pistol grip. Balahack Rev 3 patch on it. This is the one I just got from Evike. Three round burst. It's really nice. Haven't had a chance to use it yet. With the full auto Mac with the big old suppressor. The suppressor's heavier than the gun. Paul San Mad Max double barrel shotgun. This is fun to use at Rev. It's post apocalypse wasteland battles. Now this one's really cool. This is a Marushin full metal, full wood, eight millimeter shotgun. Takes gas, but I also used a CQB Russia tap to tap this, make it HPA. Winchester lever action. I also have the mare's leg lever action. My friend John got me with a matching holster. Not only do I have one Tokyo Marui tri shot, I got two, and this one's got the grip on the pump right here. It's a little flimsy. I wouldn't recommend slamming it hard, but it does the job. This is another weird shell ejecting, which I don't have any shells for it. I think I have a couple, but they're put away in the box. It's an MP5K. It's a pump. 
spring shotgun. But it's an MP5. Echo 1 RDW. This is an Echo 1 MP5K. This one's a Galaxy MP5K. Got a Tokyo Marui High Cycle MP5K. This one shoots really fast. This one is a gas blowback Beretta in a Ronin kit. We got a Glock in an FPG folding pocket gun. This is cool. It folds up into a little suitcase looking thing like that. And then you just bam, Glock, full auto. This is a Tokyo Marui Uzi, full auto, electric, mini Uzi CO2, full auto, full metal. Got a gas blowback, Chris Vector. Got the integrated flashlight. I have all sorts of attachments for this one. I have suppressors, extra barrels. We've got a ton of mags. This one's an awesome gun. I've used it in CQB. I tapped some of the mags with CQB Russia taps. They work really good. Hoping to get the electric version of this, but for now the gas one I have to do. This is a G3 SAS. It's a classic army body, but I put the Tokyo Marui gearbox from a G3 in this one because the classic armies had the better metal bodies and the Maruis had the better gearboxes. So I just made a Frankenstein version. This is a classic army MP5 SD. Tokyo Marui MP5 SD. Got a classic army P90. An Echo 1 P90. Tokyo Marui Sig 552. This is one of my favorite guns. I used to have two of them, but I sold one. I wish I hadn't. Got a little flashlight on there for CQB action. Okay, moved it over here. Where we've got various M4s. Start with this one I just got from the Evike Mystery Box. The uh, Crytac Trident. This is really cool. I finally got around to putting front and rear side on the black metal flash hider this gun is awesome I can't wait to use it I haven't had a chance yet but I'm definitely gonna be using this in some CQB action this is an ICS 40th anniversary this was a while back came with a t-shirt when you'd got it and uh, this bipod first time this bipod ever came out it a bipod inside a grip it just goes right back up in there you press the button bipod oh yeah no bipod got a couple KWA SR10. And then I got one right here. This is a lone survivor inspired with the paint ACOG on it. And this one's just standard. Both of them have the uh, peck boxes on them. This is a Tokyo Marui 733. You can tell it's got the fixed carry handle instead of a removable that's shorter also. This is a Tokyo Marui M4A1. Removable carry handle. I took that off and put flip up sights on it instead. Little known fact about Marui back in the day, they had an issue with trademarks and they had to burn all their trademarks off. So if you find an older one without burned trademarks, the 733, the trademarks are just covered up with a piece of plastic. I could pull that off, but it might damage the gun. So I don't do that. Over here, you see they tried to burn off the Colt trade, it's still there little bit. This is a classic army M4 with the Talon kit and a 9mm magwell conversion. KWA M4. A little tactical mag pull on there. This is a custom gearbox with a Patriot kit. Everything in here I built custom. It's actually, it shoots really fast. It's got a really fast motor. No stock, but I could put one on if I choose to. Just, I don't have it on there now for CQB. I got a cheapy Tech Force M4. Still fully automatic. It's just not the quality of a Marui or a classic army. The body's plastic. Gearbox is probably plastic too. We use these in zombie games. This one's really cool. It's a custom DPMS Panther full auto with a custom built drum mag. Took the M4 mag, mounted it to a Thompson drum mag. Now this is fully automatic, never ending. Got a Beretta ARX 160. This is a G and G FNC. It says it's got a three-round burst, but it's a liar. It's not really a three-round burst. KWA M4 S system. It's got rails for days all over it. Everything's a rail. There's a rail everywhere. You got an Echo One Stag Arms M4. I usually use this as a rental for the field, but I've also used this myself. We've got five right here. Five. G and G combat machines. These are rentals for the field, but they're my personal guns that I allow people to borrow if they don't have one. It's either I think it's usually $5 a day to use one of my guns. The other cool guns don't count toward that. Echo One by Zahn. I use this all the time, but I wish I had some mid caps for it. This is just a big high cap. This is a Star UMP. Star is a really old school company. We've got a SEMA AK with folding stock. Some real Bakelite furniture on there. There's another SEMA with a wood 
grip, full wood and metal. We call this one Old Faithful. SEMA full wood and metal blowback, AK. This one shoots pretty good. Used it a few ops, as you can see. This is a custom AK-47 that my friend made and traded me at Rev at Balahack. It's beat up on purpose. It's made to look like a post-apocalyptic gun. There's a matching mag to go with it. I just misplaced it right now. We got a PPSH full wood and metal blowback drum mag. This thing is awesome. You can really throw some rounds. This is a G&G &G VSS Vinterez. This one's cool, it breaks down for easy transportation. See the motor there, gearbox there, clicks on, just like that. Integrated LiPo in the barrel, it comes with two of them. And there's a sensor to let you know when you're out of ammo and it stops firing until you reload and pull the charging handle. This is an Echo One AR57 and as you can see, it's got a P90 mag on the top. It runs off of P90 mag gravity fed like that but you can see that I've got an M4 mag in it well, that's because I hollowed out an M4 mag mag pull empty hard plastic hollowed it out and I re-ran the wiring to there so I can fit a larger battery in here put the battery in lock it in you're good to go because the battery used to go in the stock and I did not like that so I ran the wire up here now I can put a bigger battery in and be good to go. So the Tokyo Marui AA-12, I've got the drum mag for it here, but I've got a ton of the stick mags for it, the sledgehammer mags. This thing destroys, especially in CQB. This one's one of my favorites. The Polar Star PR-15 with a red line air stock. Takes the smaller tanks, the serial number on it. Hard to see, it's right there. Demo 6, this is the sixth gun that Polar Star made. Shout out to my friend Ben, Rod, and Amy. This is my go-to for most ops, most events, most games in my backyard, everything. I just use this little guy. Dead silent. It's never broke down on me. I love this thing. I've got a Kraft Apple Works metal revolving grenade launcher, which I added another noob tube on the front, a Mad Bull launcher, because you can never have too many booms. <clears throat> this is a Tokyo Marui Sig 550. Longer barrel than the 552, but it's pretty much the same thing. This is a custom built ICS. It's a DMR. I, I built this for seven dollars. Everything you see here, minus the scope. This was a grab bag of parts that everything was there. Seven dollars. I just needed a new upper, which I already had. The lower, the gearbox, bipod, all the parts, flash hider. It all came with it. Seven dollars. I think that was a pretty cool time. Built the. I had to rebuild the whole thing though. This is AK-47 Tokyo Marui. It's a little rough because I haven't used it in years. Custom built with a folding stock. I took the top plate off, put it on a different gun. But as you can see, I used this in Op Irene, and I used to mark my kills because I was a cool guy. This is old. This is the first AEG I ever got. Not this exact one, but this model. This is a UTG Navy MP5. And it came with two stocks, a full stock in here, full stock, and a collapsible stock because they would both break. Also had two mags, a big high cap and a little high cap. And uh, this one needs to be repaired, but I just picked it up because it was all there in the box. How many of you started with that gun? Come on. What gun did you start with? Leave a comment. Tell me, what gun did you start with? Not only do I have one Star M249, I got two more. So for a total of three, you got a paratrooper, that full stock I just showed you and another full stock now these two four nines are made by star they have plastic gearboxes but I have a couple replacements but I've never had one go bad I've used them in a few games dual wheeling saws that's badass uh, Tokyo Marui G36 but I added an extended front to it barrels not extended it's just a uh, outer barrel extension just looks cool got a JG bar that I put this giant metal suppressor on the barrel actually comes up to about here on that, but makes it sound cool. The UTG Master Sniper. I'm not sure of this brand, but it's a 90s paint scheme. Somebody traded me this one. It's a bolt action, works great. And <laughs> I got this one at Rev. Someone traded me, love the paint job. This was one of the first guns I ever went and got. It's a Super 9 sniper rifle. Kind of a cheap sniper but at the time it was 99 dollars and 
It's what I could afford, and I absolutely wrecked with this when I was a kid. This is actually the second one I've owned. The first one kind of fell apart after a while. I used it so much. This is the one I just got in the mystery box along with the Crytek. This is a OD Green L96, like the Shadow Ops. I threw a scope on there, just something temporarily, but it did come together nice. Sounds pretty good. Haven't had a chance to use it yet. It was green, by the way. It's a real sword dragon off, full metal, full wood, with an actual surplus scope on it. It's a big old MSR. You've seen this one in Airsoft Elimination, I'm sure. We used it in season two. It's really heavy, a giant chunk of metal. I put a big old grip on here because the whole thing is front heavy. So then I got this, works a lot better that way. Throw a bipod on there. This thing is an absolute unit. Got a custom Polar Star Jack with a JP Industries body. Threw a suppressor on there, got a bipod. I've used this at a few ops. Thing works great. Wired to the rear for your battery for easy access, the FCU's in there. That's it for the snipers, now we're gonna move over to the big guns, I've only got a couple more. Classic Army micro gun, four barrel revolving. I've used this in a couple games, works great. I've got it tapped for HPA line. Nobody wants to go up against these, come on. Biggest one I got, 240 Bravo. This is huge, it's a monster, we've used it in airsoft elimination also. And I do have a drop-in fusion engine specifically for this gun. I haven't put it in yet. I think that's my next project. It would essentially replace the gearbox, which I do have a second gearbox for it too, so this gun will essentially never go down. Got a big old L can on it. You wanna reach out and touch somebody, you gotta be able to see them. Whole bunch of mags for all the guns. Tons more somewhere else in a different box, but these are two crates full of mid caps and high caps. I got the various rubber melee knives. I got an M4 bayonet. I got an AK bayonet. This one's really cool, it comes with the sheath. AK bayonet and cold steel training rubber knife for when you really really need to get that kill but you're out of ammo you know you've, we've all been there you just make them tap out call it that's it now I've got a mess to clean up you see so I hope you guys enjoyed the video maybe in another 10 years I'll do another one and I'll have twice as many who knows but thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and all that stuff whatever everyone says you know hit that like button so keep checking back we're gonna do airsoft elimination hopefully we're filming that at the end of may fingers crossed but with all this stuff going on with the virus we don't know if not it'll be pushed back later we already have everything locked down leave me a comment below and let me know what guns you have and what guns i should probably look into getting there's a few on my wish list right now but i want to know what else you guys got so comment below with what you have what cool guns you've got and uh thanks for watching and goodbye man i'm gonna have to keep buying cameras if i keep doing that dual wielding again Ugh.